Hello Taurus, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-December to mid-January tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. And if this reading does resonate for you, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, then you can find the link in the description box below this video. Also, if you're interested in offering a donation towards my channel's growth, you'll also find the link in the description below this video. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. Please bear in mind that I will be reading the energy from the cards and the energies can represent both male and female energies so just just switch the roles as fits your situation and i think that's everything covered um, yep yeah, i think that's everything covered so yeah just remember that this is a general reading so it won't resonate for everyone out there but like i said take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't so let's begin your reading taurus so you're starting off with the eight of cups so scorpio pisces cancer and we had the four of cups Cancer's, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Nine of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Devil, which is Capricorn energy, major arcana card as well. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Five of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And a major arcana card, the Moon card which is Pisces energy and the moon is in reverse so let's see what this is about so we're starting off with the eight of cups I feel that a relationship may have ended recently someone walked away it could be you it could be the other person but I'm leaning towards the other person. Having a quick look at your spread, I kind of feel it may have been the other person that walked away from the relationship. And for some reason, this person's really stubborn, sticking to their guns. This could be you. And I get the feeling... Um, but the Eight of Cups and, and the Four of Cups, this is probably your recent past. I feel that there are very good reasons why you are that you stuck to your guns. I feel that this is changing, but I feel that there may have been people whispering in your ear, gossiping. Um, there may have been interference. In this relationship whether it be through third party interference um, but third party can mean friends family someone being unfaithful you know having another lover somewhere it could be any of those things but like I said, I, I do feel very strongly that this is past energy, recent past. I feel that for some of you, this might not apply to all of you. 
and it could be you are the other person i feel that whatever you did whatever decision you made here in the past i really feel strongly like you're having a lot of regrets it might be due to the fact that you know certain things have been exposed regarding this interference that prompted the other party to walk away i feel that you deeply regret your decision to listen to these other people i feel that it was in listening to other people listening to gossip rumors um to so-called friends that is the reason why this relationship came to an end but i feel that you're up at night uh, in your head about this not able to sleep um you know that this decision maybe you're regretting it i feel i feel that this car for me speaks about two things this is you remembering your a situation recent situation where you cut this person out of your life where you walked away where you felt you knew the truth of a situation and perhaps you didn't but at the time you really felt as if what you were being told was the truth i believe um i feel now it, it may represent also the fact that maybe now you realize that you were lied to that you want that maybe um what was said to you wasn't truthful and maybe this can indicate you cutting those people out people that have caused you such distress that have ended a relationship for you people that you perhaps thought that you could rely on that were loyal that had your back people maybe that weren't as loyal as you perhaps thought maybe it was through jealousy for some of some of those people um jealousy about your relationship perhaps um jealous of you as a person perhaps um it might have some of the gossip might have been about your person maybe maybe they were they were telling you that your person wasn't to be relied upon that they were unfaithful that that they were seeing other people behind your back but i really do get a really strong sense that some of this might have been done out of jealousy was with certain people in your life but i feel you did at the time listen to this gossip to what was being whispered in your ear and you were surrounded by a lot of toxicity a lot of toxic people people with a lot of resentments a lot of jealousy people that perhaps didn't have your best interests at heart heart sorry <laughs> at heart if i can say it properly um people that were plotting against you you know trying to ruin ruin what you had going on perhaps um people that i don't know um just weren't very honest that might have had ulterior motives to the reasons why they were doing what they were doing um and it took something like this to bring bring it out into the light so, so to speak um to expose this person or these people because it could be either one particular person for some of you it could be a group of people that um collectively set out to um ruin something good that you had going on um but yeah these people were very toxic and i don't think you realized at the time i feel that you thought you could really trust these people and now you are looking at that pentacle wondering 
if you can salvage i think this situation wondering if this is something you can rectify put right you know you you feel i feel, I feel like there's a lot of the jealousy was there's a lot of ways in which either the people or one particular person is very jealous of you everything you have you know um really wanted to ruin things for you and they certainly achieved that you know um in a lot of different ways they tried to ruin things for you and you know karma has a good way of working itself out in the end you know they wished bad things upon you and they set out to destroy your life and and it might have worked up to a certain point but now karma i think the bad karma is coming back on them because i feel that whatever was done to you behind your back whatever was plotted whatever this person or person set out to do you know it's all being exposed now and now you're wondering whether you can get the person back that you walked away from i think i feel that this whole situation has left you absolutely devastated very sad very depressed because you don't know really if you can do anything about it now you know um whether you can rectify the situation put things right um you you really want to but you would also understand if this person won't even hear you out because of of what you basically did to them um listening to gossip and that but you're hoping that they will give you a chance to explain it all to them to tell them what's been going on you know what's led to all of this because with the moon card in reverse everything like i said has been exposed um you know, you want to also open yourself up and, you know, completely open yourself up to this person. Because even though you walked away from this person, you never really stopped loving them, you know. And I feel, I don't feel it was that long ago that this happened. Um, but I feel this does talk about a lot of things being... That were in the dark being exposed a lot of people a lot of secrets a lot of lies you know all of that stuff is coming out and being exposed and now you know really truthfully who, who your true enemies are you know who who to cut out of your life i think let's get more of this back so you yeah you with the world, you're unable to move on with your life, really, at the moment. You have been, since this whole thing started, this whole situation, you haven't been able to move on. I feel for, for some of you, you've had niggles in within you. You know, maybe there was a part of you deep, it, within your deep subconscious, um, that perhaps was a bit suspicious of, of what you were hearing. Perhaps you didn't act on it at the time, but you don't feel like you can move on until you at least put this situation right, you know, in whatever way you can. Even if you can't win this person back, at least you would have done the right thing in coming forward and telling them, you know, the reason why you walked away, I feel. Because you want to balance things out. You want to, you know, with this person, you, you want to give them, you know, closure in a way. If you can't have another chance at this relationship, if you can't salvage it, you want to at least give this person closure and have a clear conscience, you know, um, to, to just do the right thing, you know. I think that's what it's all about, really, doing what's right. You want a new start and you're hoping that this person will give you another chance you know um and i feel that you're 
you're going to offer this person your love you know you're going to go back to this person offer this pentacle to them this great big massive pentacle and hope that they will give you another chance you don't want to be in conflict with this person anymore you know you listen to gossip you know there was lots of interference from outside parties friends on either side maybe it's friends that you shared with this person maybe they're going to be just as shocked as you when they find out the full extent of what was going on that these people weren't really your friends that there was just a lot of jealousy and envy involved in in this whole business this whole affair listen to bad gossip or listen to people that just had an ulterior motive you know um maybe there was competition maybe I, I do get the impression that the instigator perhaps had romantic feelings towards your partner that could be one of the motives for them doing this i feel that doesn't apply to all of you but for some of you i feel that will be the case but you're no longer wanting to have this conflict you you want to resolve this with this person but you're definitely cutting out all these all these fair weathered friends people that can't be trusted people that were gossiping um and plotting behind your back gossiping in your ear being jealous creating lies and drama and then sitting back and watching it all unfold enjoying what was happening celebrating having fun laughing behind your back that all of that sort of thing they definitely want your friends they're ve they're really being exposed i feel you know you want to offer your love you're not sure they're going to take it and you will understand if that's the case but you really want to offer this cup of love love that never left you because you do see a future you've had a less you've had a really harsh lesson to learn about people and trusting people who you let into your space you know who you trust in your heart and you know you realize that what you had was really special and you just don't want to you you just want that chance to have this person back in your life maybe it's this king of wands you know who may be receptive to hear you out they're in the upright they may be receptive um they may be cold in their manner towards you but they may be receptive and you, you're going to take action that you know i i feel that i do feel this person has feelings for you still there's a lot of love there still but they may not show it initially um but yeah you you've definitely got a love a lot of love for them maybe maybe they don't trust maybe they won't trust your offer who knows so let's clarify some of these cards let's clarify the eight of cups yeah let's clarify the eight of cups the four of cups the nine of swords the queen of swords the knight of wands the devil the queen of pentacles the five of cups and the moon in reverse let's clarify all of this for you taurus clarify these these cards please So, 
the eight of cups is clarified by the ace of swords so yeah you cut this person out of your life um you didn't think you know you listened to the gossip you thought you were being what you were being told was truthful by friends that you thought you could trust could be even family members for some of you you thought it was people you could really be trusted and rely on perhaps you've known these people for a certain amount of time that you you felt that they they were doing the right thing by you so you cut this relationship out because you were told what you thought was the truth at the time um and you definitely didn't want to hear the other person out at the time, I think, with the Four of Cups as clarified by the Four of Wands in reverse. You thought that there was a lot of instability um, because of what you were told. You felt it felt the other person, you know, um, your partner was unstable, that there was no stability within the relationship because of what you were told. That there was no future. And then with the justice in reverse, yeah, you want to, you want to correct all of this now. You have regrets. You want to um, bring ju justice to this situation to, you know, um, to put things right. To bring justice for the person, for the party involved, for the person that's been wronged in this situation. You know. And yeah there's a lot of mistrust you you listen to a lot of gossip with the three of pentacles and which led to all of this there was a lot of very shifty disloyal people around you um very jealous particularly one person i feel um a lot of yeah a lot of definitely a lot of gossip and you know, you, trust is, the trust is gone where those people are concerned, I think. And, you know, because of this gossip and, you know, um, what you were told by your friends or family or whoever, you made a wrong decision. You made a bad judgment because you thought what you were being told is true. You didn't think to question it or question their loyalty or what you're being told. You know, you never second guessed it or anything. You just took them at their word. But it's taught you a lot about loyalty and trust. And then the devil is clarified by the five of swords. So, you know, with the five of swords, you definitely, you know, want to end, end the conflict. You know, um, get get all this, get all the chaos, and you know, just just clear your life of all this, all this toxic, all these toxic people, all these people that you thought you could trust. If it's more than one person, you know, you just you just want to rid yourself of these people. You know, and cut them out of your life because, you know, they cause nothing but trouble within your relationship. There was constant arguments and conflict, but now you know the root of the root issue, the root cause of this. Um, and this is you perhaps looking back at all of this, looking back at your choice, the choice you made to walk away, you know. You were you walked away. You walked away with difficulty. It was hard for you to break the bond that you had with your partner, but it's hard for you also now to break those ties and bonds with people that you thought you could trust. You're moving away with difficulty, but with a lot of emotions, um, a lot of disbelief, I, I think. And then the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Devil in reverse. Yeah, you're ridding yourself of all these toxic people, these people that don't have your best interests at heart, these people that were disloyal to you, um, that were very jealous and envious, and just for some re for their own reasons, are wanting to ruin your life for their own selfish 
ends, you know. Um, and you, you're just in such dis disbelief over it. But this car does tell tell me also that there all hope is not lost. You know, there, you know, there could be a positive outcome for you in all of this. But now you've cleared out all the toxicity from your life. And the Five of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel that you're you're going to be calling this person maybe to set up a meeting. Maybe you feel that what you've got to say, you want to say face to face with this person. You might not. It might not go so well for a lot of you at first that's probably why you might feel very sad and depressed because it might take some persuasion on your part to actually for this other person the other party involved to actually agree to see you you know the person that's being wronged in all of this you know you've been wronged as well but you know the person that has been wronged as a result of all this gossip person whose heart you broke you know um I do feel in the end they will meet you, but I don't think they're going to take your take you up on your offer at first. I really think you're going to have to work for that a bit. But I think you're going to be quite understanding of that. I do, I do really see that. And then with the moon in reverse, that's clarified by the six of cups. So yeah, you you know secrets are out about people. You know, six of cups can be any anyone that you know you have a history with people that you've known people that you thought you could trust that you loved and this can talk about family members friends that you thought were your friends for life you know it can also be talking about maybe maybe the person that you parted company with the person that you broke up with because of all this gossip perhaps it's someone that you have a history with also um but this card can also speak about wanting a reunion wanting a new start wanting balance in a relationship you know the return of a soulmate getting back together with an ex so you know this this talks about a reunion so like i said i feel with the eight of wands even though they might not take you up on the offer at first i feel that you will persuade them in the end to meet up with you and you will get a chance I think to say what you have to say to them to to make your peace with this person whatever way it goes for you I think so I feel like I'm going to get some romance angels out for you so I think the fact that the six of cups has come out it does suggest a reunion there could be a chance I feel for both of you to come back together again and you know work on this um, there might be it might be that you are soulmates there's a part it's past life relationship you've known each other before so you know it's something very familiar to both of you about each other you know it, Maybe you've been together in a past life. And then it says chemistry here. There is a strong magnet magnetic attraction here. So you both have that chemistry of each other. You're very drawn to each other. There's no doubt about it. This person does find you hard to resist. Even if they're heartbroken, they still find you hard to resist. And then it says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, yeah, there's hope in this situation uh, that this can all work out in the end for both of you, that, that there's a chance for you to resolve the issues, the, uh, you know, resolve anything that's come between you to put it all behind you and try again. And then we've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So... Six of Cups is suggestive of that, past life relationships, that chemistry you have for each other. So this is someone 
you're both you both find it hard to stay away from each other this is your soulmate so i feel there's this this tells me that there is a lot of hope in this situation for a success as if i can speak properly a successful outcome for both of you so let's finally get you out an oracle card for some advice i think you know i have to be very careful who you pick you know, the, the, the careful of the friends you choose to have in your life, you know, the people you choose to surround yourself with, you know. We can't control other people's actions, but I think maybe best to not just accept something you hear at face value and do the research yourself, you know. I think you've learned a lot of lessons from this. It's very heartbreaking when friends do this to you, though. It's soul-destroying when it's friends or family. So, but I do feel that they could... I actually feel there could be quite a positive outcome in all this. I think the justice for both of you is you getting back together with each other, having, having that really beautiful outcome, you know... All those people that were jealous and envious of your relationship. <laughs> they are going to hate it, but, you know, they've been exposed now. And uh, that's your best justice, I think, for both of you. They get their karma, I think. We've got deep knowing. And mending. So... I think deep knowing you're using your intuition, you know the right thing to do in this situation and mending that suggests that this relationship can be restored and mended. Um, you can put this betrayal, both of you can put it behind you and move on. And I feel you're going to gain a lot of wisdom and knowledge from this experience, both of you. Um, this is really quite a positive outcome for both of you, I feel. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, then you can find the link in the description below this video. So I do wish you all the best of luck, Taurus, and I think it's going to all work out for you in the end. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.